A major royal tour is scheduled for King Charles III, just months after the monarch was informed that he had an unidentified type of cancer. The 75-year-old king is reportedly getting ready to leave for a 20-hour travel to Australia in early November and October. Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese has stated that they still intend to welcome King and Queen Camilla for the visit, even though his health may be a factor in the trip's cancellation. The king was diagnosed with cancer in January while undergoing a planned, unrelated surgery for an enlarged prostate. According to the Prime Minister of Australia, talks are taking on over possible options for the upcoming visit. In the same way that Australians have supported and showed compassion for the king after learning of his cancer diagnosis, the king has extended his compassion to those impacted by recent natural catastrophes. The Australian leader said that the king, queen, and members of the royal family are always welcome in Australia. The king has travelled to Australia on 15 official occasions over the last 60 years. The monarch made his first visit in the 1960s when he studied for two terms at Geelong Grammar School, which is located close to Melbourne. The visit also marks 13 years since the last visit to Australia by a reigning monarch, as late Queen Elizabeth II last visited in October 2011. The king has continued to draw back from his public obligations after learning of his cancer diagnosis at the beginning of February. The March 11th Commonwealth Day service of celebration at Westminster Abbey will not have the monarch in attendance. The Prince of Wales, the Princess Royal, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, and other prominent members of the royal family will be escorted by Queen Camilla. Bear in mind that Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who is considered a good friend of the monarch, recently made an important video call with the king. A rush of behind-the-scenes tasks was completed by King Charles, who is still doing his duties as head of state from behind the walls of the palace. It is said that this was the first time Charles and Mr Trudeau had spoken since Buckingham Palace revealed the king's cancer diagnosis. Charles spoke to a beaming Mr Trudeau during the video chat. The two discussed global affairs and exchanged personal greetings from the king and the Prime Minister of Canada who were seated in front of Canadian flags. Mr Trudeau has a long-standing bond with the royal family. In his tribute to the late Queen described her as one of my favourite people in the world. As a young child in the 1970s, Mr Trudeau met the late Queen several times through his father, Pierre Trudeau, who was one of Canada's longest-serving prime ministers. However, people are saying that the King should use this time to rest and avoid the media. Do you have the same thoughts? Let us find out in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the Royal Secrets channel.